Hello students and anyone else who may be watching from home. My name is Zanzolo, also known as Mr. Borges, and we're back in Code Combat, ready to do our next level. So the one we did last time was called Fire Dancing, and used a while loop, we used while true loop in that. And the yellow arrow is helping us to find this next one about the Haunted Kith Maze. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the yellow arrow. Haunted, the Haunted Kith Maze. It's a maze constructed to confuse travelers. So we're gonna try not to get confused. For the win! So I know I was gonna tell you about this from the last time. So we earned a pet, but if you'll see right here, it says subscriber only. And if we try to double click on this, it says subscribe to unlock. And you can click on this and it's gonna ask you for money. And you're like, well, wait a minute, I don't wanna pay money. I don't wanna pay money, I just wanna use the bird. And it's not For letting you use the bird. So I'm gonna show you the pet glitch. I don't know why this works, but I've seen it consistently work in Code Combat for some while now, and it's strange, but it does seem to work. What you can do is, yeah, double-clicking this doesn't work. It tells you it's subscriber only. It asks you for money if you click the thing, but if you just click on it and then drag, and then drag this bird over into the space where it's supposed to go, then all of a sudden you've got your pet equipped. And even though it's a subscriber only feature, the pet's gonna be with you in the levels now and it can do all the pet stuff that's normal. So I have no idea why that is. Uh, I guess we're kind of ripping off codecombat.com a little bit by stealing their pet, but uh, I'm not gonna tell them if you don't. All right, let's go ahead and click the play button and start this level. Move right. Alrighty, so goals for this level. Your hero must survive. We must navigate the maze, and they're asking us to do it in under six statements. So it's gonna, we're gonna need to use the loop command to be able to do that. And as you can see then, right, there's sort of a repeating pattern of this maze. It's a pretty simple maze, but we're gonna have to do something, right? We're gonna have to pull, make a path plan for how we're gonna get through here. All right, traveling through, traveling through, traveling through the maze till the end over here. Now what they've done for us in these repeat, in these repeat levels, these levels where they want us to use a loop and stuff, they put these little markers on the floor. And I know there's a gem in the way it's kind of blocking it, but this is a picture of an arrow showing you that this is the point where things start over. So you move right, move right, move up, move up, and then you're kind of starting over. This is like starting everything all over again, and your instructions then can move right, move right, move up, move up, and then start over again, and then move right, move right, move up, move up. So the idea there is we only want to write, we're, we're basically doing the same thing three times. We're moving over, over, up, up, over, over, up, up, over, over, up, up. We're doing the same thing over and over three times. So we're not going to write all that three times. We're going to write all that one time. So that's the big idea. Move right. So our poor hero, she's Move gonna right. if we don't Move stop right. this and pause Move it, she's right. gonna keep moving right forever and ever Move and ever. Right. She's gonna run into these spikes and Move that's right. gonna be the end of her. Move so, right. Ouch, right. ouch. Move I'm gonna right. pause this to save her and back it up. So Move right. This code's not right the way it is. Yeah, we're gonna move right and move right, but then we need to do something else. So you can see while true, it's this thing we're gonna do over and over forever. Eventually we're gonna do all this three times. So what are we going to do? We're going to move right, move right. Okay, that gets us to here. And then we're going to move up, move up. Here, dot, move up. And if you remember about the argument, I'm just going to put an argument there and have her do it twice. And that's it, actually. So what's going to happen is she's going to start out, she's going to move right, move right, and then she's going to move up, move up, and then it's going to start the wild loop over again. We're going to do all this stuff over again. Everything that's indented is going to happen over and over forever. So then she's gonna move, move right, move right, move up, move up, move right, move right, move up, move up again. So right. go ahead and try this out. Move right. These move loop right. levels, I know it's maybe seeming like this move is a up. very, very simple level, but the idea move right. of what we're doing right. with these move forever right. loops, move up. getting the move hang of up. how they work, is gonna be super important for a computer program right. that we're at in the future. Move so, right. Chishin. Move up. It's okay that this level is not hard. Hopefully you're learning a little bit about while true loops and how they work along the way. All right, so our heroes survived, navigated the maze. We did it in under six statements because we used the while loop. Now we could have, right, if it wasn't for that separate command, they say do it in under six statements. Yeah, okay, so, so look, 
between, you know, let's just be real here. I'm just gonna show you. Let's delete, let's just delete all this. All this junk, and I'm just gonna give us a new Oops. instruction. Don't delete yeah, the loop. Okay. Reload the original code. Code Combat's trying to help us by saying, don't delete all the code. Move oh, right. Geez, that's going to end up causing you problems. Move okay, right. whatever. Move so, right. We could do instead. Move right. Move up. Move what we could have done instead is, we could have written instruction for the hero to move right and had her do that twice. And then had the hero move up and had her do that twice. And then we're supposed to do that over and over three times. So look, I'm not trying to fool you or anything. But in this case, it would have been easy enough to just write the program that does this. Yep. This would have worked. I don't know if it's going to let us delete this now and that'll be okay. But it would work to do this. We can run this program. She's going to be able to, she's going to, be able to make right. it in. But we have way more than four commands. Move up. And so the having more than four commands is one of the ways they're Move trying right. to force us to get used to using while loops because they don't Move want us up. to write really, really long programs that are repetitive. They want us Move to right. use the computer programming Move idea up. of a while Move loop up. to write the instruction once and then have the computer do it over and over for us. Okay, so that's the idea of this, right? We, we definitely could have also, you know, not even done that. If we'd have done this, here.move up, here.move up, there. Could have repeated that three times also. There we go. So it's getting messy. It's like 12 lines of code, but this will work. But that's not what it is we're supposed to be doing here, right? So we're the reason they ask us to do it in six statements or less is because they want us to get the hang of using this um, using this uh, while loop. I don't have to watch her run all the way till the end. Move right. It says success here. The done button's Move available. Right. I can go ahead and just click that. Move up. Alrighty, folks. So that's it for this one. Move right. The haunted Kithmay. Move so right. thanks for watching, and we'll see you next Move time. Move up. Bye.